get a little funky on y'all real quick before we get going into the next part of the show, man. Listen, it's the chill brother from another back inside the Playbook Podcast, y'all. And listen, so far the show has been absolutely top notch. All right. So listen, since it is and it has been top notch, I need y'all. I'm going to keep reiterating this. I need y'all to help push the product out. All right. Y'all, y'all more like my uh, my pusher men or my pusher women, whatever it might be, to help push out the Playbook Podcast. So go to Spotify, go to Spreaker, go to Anchor, go to Google Podcasts, and wherever your podcast platform is, and help us meet and reach the masses as we bring the barbershop to your podcast, all right? Listen, we just trying to handle biz. We got future kids that are on the horizon whenever the Lord say so. All right. So listen, y'all. Before we get into the brand spanking new debut of the Turner's Top 5 Moments of the Week, I got to give a great big shout out to my little big sis, Radiance Thompson. Love you, big big little sis. Y'all know, you know how we get down. All right. She gave me the suggestion. She was like, listen, bro. I think you should do this. And I was like, eh, I don't know. We'll see. But I was like, you know what? This might actually work. And little big sis, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Before we get to the debut of Turner's Top 5 Sports Moments of the Week, I got to give you guys the answer to the trivia question of the week. All right? So, what NFL franchise... What NFL franchise only has the logo on one side? Do. I'm going to give a little drum roll. We got the debut of Turner's Top 5. The Boston Celtics not get swept, but they got a gentleman sweep of the Brooklyn Nets. Man, my man was going crazy that night. 
I mean, tween, tween between the legs, side step, step back, buckets. Again, side step between tween, crossover, hit KD with the dagger to win the game in game three. But again, Boston went on to lose the series four to one against the Brooklyn Nets. Again, honorable mention going to Jason Tatum, top five sports moments of the week. But number five, number five this week, it's all about the claw, Kawhi Leonard. He put the clamps on the Dallas Mavericks playoff hopes, and I mean, I mean, he had a Terminator-like performance in game number six. I mean, he went bonkers. I mean, seriously. Probably one of the greatest performances of his NBA career in game six. I mean, 45 points. I mean, he went crazy in the third quarter. I think he had like 17 in the third quarter. He had 16 at the half, dropped 17 in the third quarter, made sure he put the nail in the coffin in the Dallas Mavericks in game six. And game number seven today, he did his thing again with 29 to make sure the Los Angeles Clippers moved on to the second round of the NBA playoffs. Kawhi Leonard, the claw, was back in vintage form as the Clippers move on to round number two to take on the Utah Jazz. Big time performance to re 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 remind us. Re, 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 remind us that yo, I'm Kawhi Leonard and I'm still that dude. All right. Number four, Julio Jones going to the Tennessee Titans. Julio Jones. Oh my gosh. I still can't believe that this happened today. Julio Jones locking up with Derrick Henry, AJ Brown, Ryan Tannehill. And four years ago, I'd be like, Ryan Tannehill, ha, ha, ha. Nah, the last laugh is on the NFL. If the Tennessee Titans could actually make the Super Bowl. And with a guy like Julio Jones that's going to be hungry after missing a lot of time last season and hooking up with a guy like A.J. Brown, a guy that, I mean, he's no Calvin Ridley. No disrespect to Calvin Ridley. But, I mean... You have a weapon like that. That's your sidekick on the outside. Yo, you're going to win a lot of games. Period. You're going to win a lot of games. And right now, Tennessee has given herself the advantage over the Indianapolis Colts to win the AFC South and potentially, potentially give the Kansas City Chiefs a run for their money in the AFC Julio Jones going to the Tennessee Titans is my number four sports moment of the week. Number three, Dame Dollar. Dame Dollar dropping 55 on Denver. I mean, Austin Rivers had probably the greatest moment of that game where Dame stepped back. And I mean, he wasn't missing. He wasn't missing a whole lot that night. I mean, you can't miss a whole lot in any night when you're dropping 55. But Austin Rivers. Pretty much in full effect during the game was like, thank the Lord. He missed a shot. He finally missed a shot. (laughs) When Dane finally missed a shot from the outside. He probably had one of the greatest uh, reactions that I've probably ever seen in an NBA player. I mean, it's one of those things where you're like, yo, is he ever going to miss? Is he ever going to miss? And he finally missed one of those shots. But he dropped 55 that night, became the first player to have 55, 10 assists, and make 10 three-pointers. But my man lost. But his performance, absolutely phenomenal. Dame Dollar, number three, my top five sports moments of the week. Number two. Trey Young with the curtain call in the garden. I mean, Clint Capella called like, hey, we're going to send the New York Knicks on vacation in game five. And sure enough, Atlanta was able to get the job done and get New York up out of here right in front of their home crowd. And just like in game one, Trey Young played the villain role phenomenally. Seriously. I mean, you hit the three from 30 feet out, and then you take a bow. 
That's some cold-blooded type stuff, man. You in New York, Trey Young. This ain't Atlanta. Bro, you can get shot out here. Papoose can come and shoot you. I'm just playing. Please don't. I, I'm just messing. <laughs> I'm just playing. But seriously, that takes some real. That takes some real moxie, my man, to to hit the shot and then take a bow in front of the New York fans that have been clamoring in their house for over a year and a half, and you're willing to do that on the biggest stage, probably one of the biggest stages in basketball, my man Trey Young. Curtain call in the garden. Top two. Top one. Number two on my top five. Sports moments of the week. Number one, number one, David Booker showing us that he's ready. He's ready for the moment. He's ready for prime time. He had the Mamba, Mamba mode in full effect in the Staples Center as the Phoenix Suns dismantled the defending NBA champion Los Angeles Lakers. By way of Devin Booker's 47-point explosion in the game-clinching game to clinch the series for the Phoenix Suns. Young brother got the job done. Phoenix moves on the game. Uh, number one against the Denver Nuggets on tomorrow night. But Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns taking down the Los Angeles Lakers and closing the book on their repeat attempt ah I, i'm just i'm just emotional right now anything to get lebron james up out of here in the first round gets me emotional i'm sorry lakers fans but devin booker number one on my Turner's top five sports moments of the week. Yo, we're going to take a timeout. I'm going to get y'all mind right before we get out of here to get you going, get you encouraged, get you locked in for the week to come with the championship speech. Y'all hold the phone. We come right back more on the Playbook Podcast. Hey, <laughs> listen, I'm glad you guys could vibe with your brother once again, man. And I appreciate all the support, the love, the well wishes, man. Listen, I, I, I do this for y'all. I do this for all those that continue to support the playbook podcast. And man, listen, without y'all, there would be no playbook, man. I, I appreciate every single last one of you that continue to help push the product out man y'all my pushers y'all the ones that keep me going grounded and grinded and i appreciate y'all all, man so again follow the script follow us on spotify anchor google Podcasts, and spreaker as we continue to help push the product that is the playbook podcast out to the masses when we bring the barbershop to your podcast so listen before we get up out of here Y'all know I got to give you guys a championship speech. I got to get you hyped. I got to get your mind right. Get you pumped and ready for the week that is to come. So let's get right into the championship speech. So with the championship speech, y'all, listen. Earlier we were kind of talking. We were talking about, yo, don't fold, be bold. And that's the championship mindset to have. That's a champion's mindset to have. Because life is going to knock us all down. And I ain't gonna lie to you, this week has been a little bit of a rough week for your boy. Uh, man, it's just been one thing after another with certain situations. Seems like every time you get one step forward, it seems like you're knocked back a couple of steps back. And listen, life is gonna be like that. And life is gonna bring you to a point where, man, it's just like, yo, it's better for me to just throw in the towel, forget about everything, and it is what it is. But champions find a way to be bold and not fold. They find a way to keep fighting in spite of the adversity that goes on and that they might face. And pressure bursts pipes or makes diamonds.